Hey guys, Jonathan Henry, Scott's Square Tackle Company Pro. I'm out here today with Scott from Bama Bass Fishing Forum. I'm going to show you guys a sneak peek at a brand new bait from Scott's Square Tackle Company. Um, it's called the Sniper Shad. And uh, we also have a head to throw it on called the Sniper Head. It's uh, kind of a, a bait that's been popular on Tennessee River for some time now. And we've put our tweaks on it and changed a few things and made it how we like it. Um, so we'll start with the nuts and bolts of it. The head. is a soft plastic bill, just a regular old wobble head, comes with a snap to tie to to free your line up, but we added the screw lock to eliminate having to use glue and, um, and, and the worry with keeping your bait straight on long casts and stuff like that. It's really a sweet setup. It's a little bit different to get rigged up, but I'm going to go over that process with you in a minute and show you how to rig it up and, uh, and how to get your bait on there nice and straight. The bait itself is a copy of our 5-inch original swim bait. The, from back in the day, it was the only swim bait we had, and I won the FLW Rayback event here at Lake Gunnersville on that bait. And um, So we just took a, an already great bait and uh, put a tweak on it for a summertime wedge bait to give us another option out there. We just um, stretched the tail out long and skinny, much like a soft plastic jerk bait, um, you know, from the days of old. Uh, just, uh, just a long, slender, single tail. And uh, we offer it in all the same colors, our regular swim baits. And um, it's about six and a half inches long. We just measured it here. It's, it's about six and a half. It's, a, it's in between our six inch swim bait and our seven inch swim bait length. But the, the diameter is that of our five inch swim bait. It is the same original body of our five inch swim bait. So um, what we want to do is you want to take this sniper head, and it comes in a lot of different sizes. Um, for me personally, say May to August, which it's August right now, you can probably see the sweat rolling off of me. From May to August, it's a three quarter ounce. 95% of the time, it's a three quarter ounce for me. Um, that's what gets the job done. Uh, I use the same rod, the same reel, the same line, the same head, um, and the same bait, you know, all through the summer. So what you want to do is just measure this bait up, just like you would putting a swim bait on the hook. Kind of get an idea with your thumb of where you want the hook to come out. And just go in nice and center on the nose. You can follow the vein line down the side where the color changes to keep it good and straight. And then come right out the top, right out its back. You can see we got a hump in it there now. Now this is the part that gets tricky for a lot of people on the swim baits and our head, which are our regular swim bait head has the same, our recon head has the same wire on it. But um, it's, not that, it's not that complicated if you, if you can uh, get the hang of it. So just run it up to where it meets the wire, then I immediately take the tail of my bait, tuck it and push it under the hook so that I can rotate the entire bait clockwise, just like you're screwing a screw into your drywall in your house. And you're just going to continue to repeat that as necessary until with this head it takes a lot more time than the regular swim bait head or a lot more turns because we do have that little piece of lead in between to get the weight right. So you're just going to keep on doing it. You got to keep tucking that tail under there to keep from scratching your bait up real bad. You don't want to just let that hook eat on the side of that bait over and over. Or I don't. I like for my bait to look nice and pristine when I start fishing with it. I'm real picky about my swim baits how they look. So this looks like this turn right here is going to do it. So as you can see there now I'm seated right up to the head nice and snug. I'm nice and straight to keep my action even so it doesn't want to favor one side or the other. I'm ready to go fishing. Okay guys I'm going to show you a little bit about my setup for throwing the sniper head and the new sniper shad from Scottsboro Tackle Company. For me it's a 7.6 Kara ST Mike McClellan heavy action falcon rod. Um, you could go with a little bit more tip in a rod maybe and maybe a little bit more forgiving on your casting, but I like a good stiff rod on these big Tennessee River fish out here deep. This rod has just enough bend to, to keep them from throwing my hook and to keep them hooked up really good while I'm fighting them, but it's got enough meat to it that I can really get the hook set in them you know, on those long casts on these shell beds out here, I can really get a hook in them from far away and I uh, don't have to worry about not being able to get it through that rough, tough 
because you'll find most of your fish are going to be hooked right in the top of the head. And I want a good stiff rod to get it right in that bone on top of their head. So give that a shot when you're out here next time fishing these shell beds. I guarantee you're going to get some bites. So what are you going to do with this bait to make big long cast out on deeper areas? I like shell beds and stuff, you know, 8 to 20 foot. And um, I let it go to the bottom. And um, then with my rod at about a parallel to the top of the water, I'll start a nice slow retrieve. And what that does is as it pulls, this soft plastic lip makes this bait kick almost like a crankbait. So it gives you crankbait-like action with a much more subtle presence, you know, of a soft plastic bait. And uh, this thing is just going to skirt right over the top of the shells with the head wobbling like this. And it also has a nice belly roll to it. And the tail is going to be kicking side to side, as you can see when you pull it through the water. So I'll pull it about 15 or 20 feet, let it sink right back to the bottom, and then start reeling again. The only reason I let it sink is to get it close to the bottom again. I never want it to get more than a couple, three feet up off the bottom. Then I want to let it go back, just because the fish are right on the bottom if they're feeding. So um, that's how I fish it. There's probably a lot of other ways you could try to fish this bait. Back of a chatterbait, uh, just weightless on a big uh, EWG worm hook, jerk like a fluke. Um, a lot of different ways you can fish it, but that's one of the ways it's really catching on the Tennessee River. We really designed it for was to be thrown on our sniper head out deep on shell beds. Give that a try next time you're out in the summer and should catch you some fish.